Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Red Flood as the Italian Combine. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we've gotten our Brazil here to do uh, declare war. Which is really, really nice for us. Mostly because we got rid of Brazil's national focuses, so... I mean, it just helps us out. So I think if... In ten, will, will Brazil be killed in 10 days? They might. I'm actually going to stop the push for now. At least until... If we don't have the right flag here, but the wrong flag in that one. A little bit strange, but that's okay. You have so many units in this front. The AI is really good at just throwing their troops in, like, the wrong locations. Okay, so you can be ready in five more days. We're going to immediately start invading you. You should join the International because that's the Socialist Faction. Apparently, I like them. I don't know why. They're improving relations with us. Okay. Well, we're going to clear war against you. They join the Commonwealth of Nations. Okay, well, apparently it doesn't matter. So go kill Brazil then. Please and thank you. Uh, you guys are going to immediately uh, push away north. Um, yeah, you already outworked them. Fantastic. But please be very... Uh, yeah, you know, you're a different army. You're not this blue army. Yeah, you're a different blue army. Who I do not, at this moment, want attacking right now. We just want to be able to get to this area so we can take their port. It, it's, it's really that simple. And the French should take over. Like, this, this, like, Norway is not going to matter even remotely. But it is done! The war is over! Fantastic. So, um, France is going to take over uh, this area across the Rhine. I think that works out pretty well for you. As well, you know what, France? You can also have the French-speaking part of Switzerland. We are going to take over... The we're gonna take over the Italian speaking parts here. So next, then, what do we want? Well, because the thing is that these countries need to not exist for the next future that or for the next um event to actually take place. So that's something that we do need to worry about or think about at least. But I think for the most part, we just kind of annex the rest. Prussia, we can give you um. I mean, Prussia didn't do shit, honestly. I don't even know if they've even done anything. So, I think for right now, not for Prussia, for ourselves, we will satellite... Well, we can just annex territory and then... We're going to satellite Slovenia. And I'm going to pop at the Austrians. But I'm going to annex Switzerland. So that I can make them into a puppet state. Um, Germany. Yeah, puppet the, the uh, Austrians, please. Azerbaijan. We are going to take all states. Romania. We're going to puppet the Romanians. No, we're going to take all states. Hungary, we are going to... Satellite Czechoslovakia. And then we are going to, um, what else do we want to do? Oh, you know what? Sure. That, that works out fine. And then we're going to take all of you. We're going to take all of you. Jordan, annex all of you. Apparently we did, okay, Madagascar, I guess we'll also take over you. And Germany, might as well take over all of you as well. We'll do some um, messing around in our other things in a, few, in a second. So, I mean, fake Brazil's here. Honestly, that's fine. I don't care about Brazil that much. Um, we're already going to go into occupied territories, though. Um, so, what we want to do is... Austria, we're not going to give you territory. We're going to release Germany as a puppet state. Just because I don't want to deal with all of this. 
Um, we're gonna release you as a puppet state. I yeah, it's kind of supporting Red Flood. Don't worry about it. And then the Samo state. We want to give them their territory back. And I think that works out quite well for us. Well, actually, what I'm gonna do also is give Germany the German-speaking parts of Switzerland. So now Switzerland doesn't exist, just like God intended. Oh, the Australians landed here. When the hell did that happen? Anyways. Um, please go here then. I didn't know they did that at all. But luckily, we've now kind of ended one of our wars. Which does work out really well for us. You're not really doing as much as I would have wanted. You're actually, you're actually invading, uh into Norway at a much slower rate than I would have, uh, appreciated. How much does Australia have? 17 to 48? Okay. Go to regular battle plans. I really didn't... I, sh I should have noticed that there was this massive, massive invasion happening, but I guess I did not. All of you, I think we just push into here. Orange Army, of course, you need to come back to Europe. So there's no reason for you to be in, um... It's not really the fastest way for you to leave. Can I military access through you? No. Go here, and then come up to here. Okay? I feel like it's pretty, pretty simple. Brazil, I mean, again, they're not really in any faction. Maybe we should have gotten them to become accelerationists, but, you know, it is what it is. It's too late for that now. You guys have landed up towards the north, but I don't think that matters so much. Like, we do need to push our way here. The French should deal with the rest of that invasion plan. Germany, I'm imagining, probably doesn't have any, um, yeah, no ships, no army, nothing like that. Unfortunately... Yeah, and you guys just invade. Don't actually even be, like, normal. Go for, like, very aggressive. And just kill them all off, please and thank you. Also, Slovenia is, like, blindingly white. We still gotta prepare our invasion. You have three... Oh, now you, now you have a lot of, uh, boats in that area, huh? Just lovely. Just perfect. Research slot available. Um, I guess we'll go for excavation four. Seems okay. I mean, is there any way... Cause Cuba... Yeah, Cuba's still in the international. They're the only member left of that faction. I'm just thinking, like, is there any way in hell we could possibly invade? Because you're not worth anybody else, right? No, you're just at war with our faction. Um, The Japanese, I don't think, are going to be doing anything to kind of... Impacts too much here. And you keep trying to push in. Kill off the Australians. Like, killing... Like, invading Russia, even. I mean, Russia doesn't help us at all, so that makes no sense. But invasion plan from you to... You... Really, I think, might be the only way we could possibly get anything here done. We do have a lot of big airports around here. Um, so all of you fly to the North Sea. If you cannot fly to the North Sea, you are about a thousand. So we we'll send you here. You go to there. Um, you still are not close enough, huh? And that should be the North Sea covered, which is nice. Um, we're still waiting on our ability. In seven days, though, in seven days, we should be able to build even the most basic of uh, naval units. Which will be nice for us. Why is it to send, how many, 43 divisions in that small little pocket? I mean, the casualty rate, 720,000... 
for us compared to like 2.73 million for the uh, the allies is pretty bad for them i will say and how is how is this working out for us as well um yeah turkey and Arme syria do not exist but persia armenia and iraq all still do and how how long until i can become faction leader we need even more manpower and we also need way more factories uh which is unlikely to happen so now I have no factories anymore because of all the territory I was taking from Germany. Right. We have no naval experience. So I can't, I can't even use it? Excuse me? Um... Production. For you. So am I like just not allowed to build a navy? Because I cannot even... I have no... Like how do you get naval experience? Without someone who just generates naval experience by default. Which, I, which we do not have. Please, I'm begging you. Because right now... I mean, yeah, because I lost a bunch of factories. Which is unfortunate. Not, uns uh, not, not uh, unsurprising, of course. But unfortunate. I know we have free dockyards. Um, we'll get aluminum from Germany. They're technically our puppet. We'll get steel from Germany, because they're also our puppet. Fantastic. So that's at least going to make that a little bit easier for us. So right now, all I can really do... Do I not have naval invasion researched? I don't. Everything just gets worse and worse, huh? 2,000 strength... So, like, what the hell can I do? Like, there's no way to passively generate naval experience. Right? Like, as far as I know, there's no way to just do that. Can I, like... Navy... Experience... Navy... So... Wait, can I do something with you, Sanitache? War support goes up, military intelligence... 20% of their army experience gain? I mean, we'll try it. But I don't think that's going to passively generate points here. Because, okay, it does give us 20% of theirs. So we will need the French to do some naval operations for us to maybe get something. Because, like, none of you, you'll, none of you will just give us points, uh, unfortunately. Which sucks, and I hate it. Sir, let's get better submarines while we're waiting on being able to build any amount of submarines. That seems okay. That sounds like a plan. How could they just... How could they do this to me? Like, I can't... It's, it's amazing, because I, like, I just can't do anything. Because you're almost... I mean, I, I think we could probably get that 2,000 strength requirement to, um, to control this area and get the naval invasion to work. Getting one against the Americans is a different... Like, okay, so there's no strength here, no strength there. Nobody here is in our faction. You're all... Yeah, you guys are almost back. I mean, there are some French troops here. But, not a lot. And none of you... Actually, you would give me military access. So we could maybe naval invade into uh, Nicaragua. 
and then use that to maybe try to navally invade into like California. Like that's honestly, honestly my best plan for any kind of invasion into the United States. Like how many troops do they have? More than they used to. Okay, well that's terrifying. Cause right now, like what? There's so many men here as well. How do you, how do you stop this? I see what I can do, and what I'm going to do. It's a little bit. Is it cheating? Yes. But I'm honestly just going to um. All of this territory, I'm just going to transfer it to myself. Does purchase still exist? They do. So it means there's some territories that I did not click on properly. Okay, so now purge doesn't exist. Because really, as far as I'm concerned, this doesn't change anything really. We've already conquered this area now. We're at no risk of losing it. The next thing I would like to do is just somehow, um... Just, how have you just now capitulated? But... I mean, Armenia is in our faction. There's really nothing we can do about that. 140 days, Armenia does not exist. You know what, I'm gonna do just focus dots. Is this cheating? Yes! But I just wanna know what this does. A sudden press conference. Will this, um, cancel if I don't... It will cancel if not met. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, um, for now. A sudden press conference, we crossed the ruins of Europe out into Asia, scattering the terror-stricken hordes of Goutville and Paralysis far and wide, like a sour, like a sour spreading seed. With a wide sweep of his arm, at last our grasping Beth drove the sluggish clouds with her enfolding hostility before us, and on the horizon we cut a sight, a sight of the greenish dance of the Indian Ocean, upon which the sun placed a fantastic golden muzzle. It's time for the final announcement. Brace yourself for, it will be extremely thrilling. Well... In 130 days, we'll figure out what the hell that is. It does theoretically mean that every, um, everybody else also has no checks. I think at least, but I'm really not too concerned about that. I don't think it's gonna make a major difference to anything. And are you generating any amount of experience? No. And, like, I can't, like, normally in, like, the base game, there's, you know, the, uh, the ministers that passively generate this stuff. Uh, but unfortunately, I have none of that. So, f f wonderful. Is there anybody who's fighting, like... Germany doesn't have... They have three ships. Okay, fantastic. Um... Because is there anybody else? No, like, there's only one war going on, right? The Flemish-Norwegian War, as it will be known in history. Because that's actually the only conflict happening right now. We did trap six American troops. I mean, if we can just slowly kind of capture all of Africa, it'll be nice for us purely so that, um, we can maybe get them to leave us alone somewhere else. Oh, uh, yeah, we do not want you on. Thank you, but, uh, not for now. How long is 140 days? Really, it's not it's not that long. So I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, 700 strength here. Nobody here. Like, if we can just build any ships. Any at all. Like, that'd be really nice. And I can't... I can't request units, as unfortunate as that is. You are going to land your troops into Madagascar. That's fine. I'm really not concerned about that, even remotely. And the African front is now improving the situation a uh, decent amount, uh, which is nice. Yeah, let's just see if we can get these guys all killed. Like, how many troops does Russia have? A lot, as well. Everybody has a lot of units, and it worries me a great, great deal. Three dockyards. I know we have free dockyards. I'll keep training these guys up. Just, why don't you just automatically... 
Like, we just need five. We just need five so we can even attack. And that would be it. Right, because I think I can't... Fast battleship. Improved submarine hull. It's like, I can request it from them. But that doesn't give me the ability to actually build it, because I can't put the torpedo tubes in it. It's actually just a little bit ridiculous. If I do say so myself. How are you guys doing down here, by the way? You're doing fine. So it looks like we should get you guys all killed off in but a mere moment. I'm surprised you have so many units as well. That it's a, li it's a little bit crazy. Because, like, we're ready. We're ready for an invasion of Britain. Like, once we have the capacity or the capability to do so, we're going to be looking very, very nice. But it's, it's going to be a... Uh, a challenge to get there. Please go here. Thank you. Okay, no. Hold, okay. Hold position. And then I'll go here. Thank you very much. It really was not a complicated task. Are you even in a port? You are in a port. That makes your job a little bit harder. Now that we've got an extra research slot, um, I guess we'll go for... I mean, your Excavation 5, I think, seems okay. We're gonna kill you guys off. Yeah, you're still safe. How many troops does Australia have now? Still 14 to 42. More than I would like them to have, but it's really not a, uh, a major deal breaker. But for right now, I feel like this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks for watching my show, Anthem. If you've enjoyed, put a thumbs up. And if not, enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.